<clears throat> okay, so thank you so much. Yeah, uh, hello everyone. Well, I'm, I'm Joachim. I've been with Crunchfish for the last five years. Uh, Crunchfish was, uh, was founded back in 2010. And since the start, we have been uh, developing software technologies that uh, addresses the mobile interaction space. And um, we have uh, targeted the, the mobile phone market for a number of years. And uh, uh, up to like 2015 and, and then we started to move more into the AR VR space. Uh, we went public in 2016. Uh, value proposition is that we, we are sort of redefining the, uh, the mobile interaction. We are, with our technology, we, we provide a, a solution that enables, uh, or, or actually we have two technologies. So our technologies provide uh, means to, to create a certain interaction in, uh, in the AR, VR space. And the first one is related to gesture control. So we have a software that enables uh, gesture control in any AR uh, device and uh, we do that by using a standard 2D or 3D camera but if there is a 2D camera available that is good enough for us to, to enable this gesture control. So we, we have a software technology that we, we license related to that. Uh, we also have a technology for, um, for uh, creating uh, the uh, the, the uh, context awareness, as we call it, where, uh, where it's possible, if you wear the glasses, uh, you can create a, a space around that, that enables uh, information exchange with, for instance, the machine. And we'll come back to that in, in a few minutes. So on, on top of this, we have a team of uh, UX designers that works with uh, UI and uh, UI flows related to the interaction in this kind of devices. So we, we create the graphics, we create the flows, and uh, we, we look at also combinations of, uh, of interaction methods that uh, could include voice or, uh, or gaze. So um, we, we add all those together and uh, provide sort of services around the, the, the kind of interaction space. And obviously we also have the integration services that is more related to, uh, to the technologies we provide where we can uh, help our, uh, our customers and partners to, uh, to integrate the software in the target, uh, target environment. If we move further into the, uh, the augmented reality world, so uh, I said earlier that we can enable gesture control in, in any, any device, and that in, includes, of course, AR glasses for the industry, uh, could be consumer products as well, but also mobile AR. So, uh, so we work with uh, handset manufacturers to, to enable these uh, mobile AR solutions, for instance, using AR Core. Um, but in the, um, in the AR glasses space, we, uh, we cooperate with a number of, uh, of partners in, uh, in uh, providing sort of the, uh, the interaction for gestures in different kinds of AR glasses and uh, also AR platforms. What we can do with this is, of course, to uh, um, have show menu interaction. We can navigate. We can... Uh, uh, have check boxes and so on. And, and now I was planning to actually show a movie as well. I don't know if that is at all possible, Mark. Do, do you think that we could... We, um, we, can, uh, we can try, Joachim. I, the performance is normally very poor. Um, what, what we can do is... I, I also... Go oh, on. Sorry. Well, you can put the link no, I, I into the, the chat yeah. box. If you want to put the link yeah. into the chat box and people can see that as well and see it there real time. 
Yeah, so uh, I, will, I will just uh, send you that link. Um, it should be uh, there now. And what you will see in this link is uh, a, a visualization of the capabilities of, uh, of our, our gestures in using a standard 2D camera and a pair of standard AR glasses. So uh, um, instead of walking you exactly through that movie, then you can watch that either now or, or later. Um, it, yeah, someone is watching. <laughs> <laughs> so um, what what, um, what you see here is the the pinch gesture where you can uh, make your choices uh, in in the menu. You can use the swipe gesture to go back and forth. Uh, we have an open hand, which we use as a command. So you can, for instance, place the, um, uh, uh, your phone book in that, and you can swipe around in your phone book and you can make a call by closing your hand. So in a nutshell, that is what's shown in, in that video. So feel free to, to have a look at that at, at some point. Uh, again, that is uh, what we're capable of using a standard 2D camera. Uh, if we're looking at more advanced 3D cams, uh, like in the HoloLens, uh, we, we could also do more um, object manipulation and move things around and so on using, for instance, the pinch gesture. Uh, so so um, a few words about the technology. It's, uh, we, we have a standard uh, sort of engine that we call the Touches A3 engine. And on top of that, we have a number of poses or gestures that you can add, pick and choose from, and then you map that to a specific function in, uh, in your unit. And what function is, is up to the designer of the, the actual application. We can run this on Android, iOS. Uh, we also have uh, Linux and can do Windows um, in uh, with this technology. And it's uh, really quick to integrate and make part of uh, of any application or the uh, the core sort of software in uh, in any AR uh, glasses. Uh, a few of our partners and customers, uh, we have a partner network, uh, including both uh, glasses, uh, providers of, of air glasses, but also uh, platforms. And uh, I would be happy to, uh, to add our stick or mobilia to, to this list. Uh, I think uh, what I've heard today, you, you have great, uh, great offerings and, and products. Uh, but currently, this is uh, the list. So Epson Musics, uh, uh, Gore-Tec is the Chinese uh, platform vendor uh, that we are uh, cooperating with. We are in, in total shipping tens of million of devices with this technology, but that includes um, mobile handsets and tablets as well. So a combination of AR, VR, and uh, mobile phones and uh, tablets. Uh, we are on, on a 10 million plus units uh, out on the market. Now a few words. So, so this was a lot about the, the, um, the gesture interaction. Now a few words about the contextual awareness technology. So this is a Bluetooth based uh, kind of technology that, that we had patented and, and developed. Uh, we are using uh, sort of the, the low power Bluetooth. Uh, we have a, a server system uh, that is very generic and uh, it can be combined when um, according to sort of the application you run. And uh, for instance, uh, in this, uh, you see we have the, the machine on the left and, and you add like a standard beacon to, to that machine and that enables sort of the, uh, the, uh, uh, the interaction with surroundings. And then you have the, the handset or the air glasses that you're wearing. And, and when you approach sort of the, the machine, that will be automatically uh, sort of an interaction and, and you will be uh, able to identify uh, sort of each other, if you like. So the machine can see you and you can see the machine. So I, I have a, a short flow here 
uh, where where this guy is uh, sort of approaching the machine, uh, automatically the the glasses recognize the, the machine that is in front, and that you can get sort of information of uh, error uh, maintenance messages or, or instructions, and uh, it can be all then uh, inter interacted with uh, with gestures. Uh, and uh, the the upside of this is of course that it's uh, Automate it, uh, automating the um, the interaction and the situation, provided that you are sort of maybe you have tools in your hands, maybe you you don't want to sort of search uh, your servers for in information about that specific machine. Uh, you can automatically automatically get that kind of information. It also opens up cooperation. So if you are several. Uh, technicians at the same place, you can you can make sort of the collaboration between this uh, this person on site. Uh, you can use it for restricted areas, for instance. If you're approaching a restricted area, you can get a message in the glasses of um, of that to uh, to mention a few of these cases. So to to summarize this, uh, we uh, we pre-integrate our software into uh, AR glasses or uh, or AR software platforms, and are, are happy to cooperate with with companies that see the the benefits and, and needs for for gesture control. Um, we we see that we, we add a lot of value in in a lot of these different use cases or uh, uh, contexts where AR glasses are used. Uh, if it's noisy, dark environments, or if you uh, have tools in your hands, you maybe have gloves. Uh, there are a lot of these uh, situations where uh, where it's not really uh, efficient to use some of the other, uh, and, and uh, that we can uh, add sort of the, um, the gesture technology. We uh, we're also happy to uh, to uh, uh, sort of add value together with uh, with our partners. Uh, and, uh, where we have UX design services, interaction know-how, but also the software technology that we can add. It's uh, it's quick and easy to do, and uh, we, can, uh, we can add sort of the uh, the Microsoft uh, kind of Hololens experience into any AR glasses uh, with, uh, with the technology we have and more. I would say. So um, with that, I. Uh, I uh, thank you for listening and uh, welcome any any question. Thank you, Jokin. Uh, are there any questions? Yeah, what would be what is the, sort of your business model like for example if there was a solution where this uh, user interface approach technology and so on makes sense uh, do you have like a standard licensing model or is it video case by case or can you give us an idea of the, the business model generally absolutely so uh, uh, we had typically two setups that we see there are uh, sort of a, a request for uh, well, one is the uh, typical licensing uh, per uh, per unit where we uh, charge a fee per uh, per glass uh, also, we have a subscription model where we where we divide it per month, for instance. So you can have per user per month or per per glass per month. So there are basically those two. So the first one is a more of a one-off per glass, and the others is uh, is a breakdown per month over over a time period. Okay, thanks. Any other questions from the audience? Uh, yeah, I have a question. Is um, are there some minimum requirements that you need from the glasses that you you um, make the application for? Yeah, in, in theory there is a minimum requirement, but uh, but actually we, we haven't seen or or uh, worked with any glasses so far that we are we are not able to run on. So we yeah, we yeah. require a standard uh, sort of two D camera i mean if you can get beyond 15 fps uh, frames per second uh, it's good uh, preferably mm -hmm. maybe 30 to get a good uh, re responsive swipe for instance 
uh, mm -hmm. from from the system. It's we're running Android, and uh, the later version, the better. But uh, we can do a fairly old Android version as well. Okay. Excellent. Thank you. Any other questions? Okay. So thank you very much indeed, Joachim. Uh, you know, if anybody has got any um, questions or they won't make connections or anything like that, please obviously contact, contact myself.